Hi guys, good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can probably see from my surroundings, it's a different day to what the intro was filmed on. <laughs> I uh, arrived here yesterday afternoon. Oh, by the way, I'm in Dartmoor and I've come to visit a tiny little old ancient oak wood called Wisman's Wood. I should say right in the heart of Dartmoor. And uh, I find myself down here because Jilly and Harry have gone on a, uh, a three day south coast or southwest coast walk so i dropped them off yesterday at lyme regis and they did about seven mile yesterday and i made the extra hours trip down into dartmoor to come and visit wisman's wood so uh, i came here got here yesterday afternoon and had a cup of coffee in the van and then headed straight down to wisman's wood it's about half a mile walk and uh, quite nice conditions as you saw in the intro and then the heavens opened <laughs> caught me out i'd left the brolly in the van so uh, I had a good scout round, took a few frames and uh, nothing special. And the plan was always to stay overnight in the van and uh, have a good go this morning in the hope that there would be some mist. And boy, oh boy, is there some mist. So fingers crossed, should be nice and misty in the wood. So I've uh, got about a 20 minute walk. I've got the two hooligans with me, <laughs> got the two girls with me. They're enjoying it, they had a good day yesterday. So we'll uh, have a quick, trot up to the wood and uh, see you in there. Oh, well, as you can see, if you compare this to the drone footage yesterday, I think I flew the drone from, from the style down there, if you can see the style, and obviously swooped over Wisman's. Well, we're just outside Wisman's now. You can only just see it, so hopefully the conditions will be perfect in there. Let's go and have a look. And here we are, just on the edge of Wisman's, and as you can see, it's, it's, it's quite something. All these boulders covered in moss. Really something you don't see every day. So we're just on the perimeter of it. And uh, it's looking rather nice. I think it's going to be quite tricky to find a composition. Uh, yesterday I was trying to get a composition and it's just so much chaos going on with all the different branches intermingling. I think it's best to concentrate on, on a quarter of one tree or something like that. So let's go and investigate. <laughs> Well, I think I've got a nice frame. I found this one tree, it's got two branches that come off at a 90 degree angle to each other and then just curl and peel their way back into the top of the frame. Obviously the mist is really adding to the frame this morning, it's absolutely lovely conditions. You've got these lovely moss coloured boulders or rocks in the foreground in the lower third of the frame which just leads your eye onto this tree and then you've got equal amounts of space either side of the frame, obviously quite misty. And then through the gap in this tree, in the two trunks, you've got the trees leading off in the background. And it leads your eye through the tree and onto the rocks and the trees in the background that are just surrounded by a nice bit of mist. And uh, I think this one works. Let me know what you think.
Right, so I've managed to find another composition, if you want to call it that. It's, it's so chaotic with all these oak branches mingling into each other, but with this mist, the mist did roll out a bit, but it's just rolling back in again. I've only moved a hundred yards and come across this. And it's, it's so interesting because yesterday I spent about three hours in here and it's only about 500 yards long. It's not the biggest wood. It's a tiny wood really. If you check it out on Google maps, call these midges. Woo. And um, I walked the entire of it in about three hours and I was that busy concentrating on trying to find a composition. I struggled. I've come in here this morning, fresh mind, I had a rest and I found two within within 20 minutes, you know, and it just goes to show you can't see the wood for the trees, you know. But uh, I think yesterday I came here with the, the outlook of I need to find a composition with one tree with other trees in the background all folding in nicely shaped and it doesn't work in here. I think you've just got to concentrate on the one tree and the shape and whatever else is going on around it, so be it. That's what I'm finding anyway. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you've been here. But um, anyway, I found this, found this tree here and I've got, I'm just looking at the picture, but I've got one branch curling round, coming back towards me, another branch leading away and splitting off into three. I've got the rocks just at a bit of an angle so it leads your eye up the rocks, but then it leads your eye back into the tree and off into the distance as, as the whole tree peels away to the, the right hand side of the frame. And it just leads your eye all the way round, I find. So pretty pleased with this. Say the mist has rolled out a bit, so it's not quite as good depth wise. Now settings, I forgot to tell you on the last image what the settings were. But settings here, I'm at F11, ISO 100 obviously, and 1.3 second exposure. Um, I've also taken another frame at a lot less aperture just to try and give myself a bit of depth but um, we'll see which ones work and uh, I say so far so good let's move on and find another one I'll pop it up now guys hope you like it Right, so I've managed to find a really wonky old oak here. Obviously it S bends around, like a lot of them do. But the composition I think works really well. I'm at F11 again, ISO 100, 0.8 of a second exposure. And I've got, as you can see here, I've got the twisty old oak on the left, sort of leading you across the left-hand side of the frame. You've got this S bend almost almost bends right back on itself and then back up again on the right hand side and then you've got another oak behind this curly oak leading back into the frame again and I just think it works really well the mist is really helping out on this frame but yeah I think it works really well I'll pop it up now guys hope you like it Well, the mist has rolled away now. The sun has tried to come out and uh, it's getting quite bright now. So I think I'm gonna call it a day. I might just have a walk around and take a few more frames, but uh, the girls are getting fed up with these midges, as am I. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Certainly very different in here. 
if you can get along it's well worth a visit I've been really lucky that I've had some mist this morning but we when I spoke to you on the way here we left the van about five o'clock so uh, we was in good time for a bit of mist so it's all worked out nicely so uh, comment below leave any comments below let me know if you've been here before or uh, ask for directions and I'll uh, I'll let you know uh, whereabouts it is so it's in the middle of Dartmoor but uh, near Prince Town Prince's Town Prince Town so uh, yeah thoroughly enjoyed it so uh, head back now get a coffee and perhaps a bacon butty thanks ever so much for watching guys take care catch up soon Thank you.